I literally dropped it with all of this stuff. No. Uh, cool, cool. Super cool start. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Sab. If you're new here, welcome to the Sab fam. Today we have another fave. We've got an everything5pounds.com haul. I have been working with everything5pounds.com for a couple of years now. I really, really love their stuff. I started purchasing their stuff of my own accord anyway because, to be honest, I thought five pounds what am I actually going to get? But since I have actually been buying stuff from there, I now know that you can get some real, real good steals. And a lot of the stuff is actually from like known brands. When I get my box, when I get my delivery, it's literally like a pick and mix. The thing is, I get super excited because I know there are going to be bits in there that I just think are so, so good for the amount that I paid. Okay, let's dive straight into this. I've had a look through everything um, that's in the box. I like to get like a basic idea of a lot of the things before I show you guys, so that when I'm giving you feedback, it is like legit feedback. And we have used one or two of the bits in here. The first thing that I picked up is these beanies. These are so, so, so cute. Actually standing next to each other, they kind of have like the Halloween like color vibes. But um, when I saw these, I had to pick one up for me and my friend Holly. She wears a lot of orange and I saw this one and I thought of her because um, it's so, so, so super cute. And then for me, the black queen, I got this um, black one, which is exactly the same. These are really soft. When I first took them out of the box, touched the pom pom to start with and I was like, oh, ooh, she's real warm. But then realized quite swiftly that inside taylor swift that inside it's so so soft and warm and i literally ended up wearing this actually like i went out during the day wore this bad boy came back didn't even bother taking it off literally got actual dreads like i was still brushing all of my dreads out this morning and my hair doesn't really get that naughty but it was because I liked it so much that I didn't even want to take it off when I was like basically sleeping. So these are so, so, so good and so soft. Really, really nice quality. Perfect. The next thing I want to open because I want to put them on now. I got these adorable little slippers. I haven't actually even taken these out yet. They often get restock of really, really cute pajamas and like shoes and slippers on everything 5 pounds.com and I've only had good experiences ordering their slippers so when I saw these I wanted to get some more I always get like the biggest slipper size that they have because I don't mind it if they're schluffy but I often find that slippers come like really undersized so they come up really small so I got these in a size 7 and I usually wear a size 6 shoe these are so soft and cute I open these because I want to put them on I don't know why I have them on opposite hands. These are so little cuties. Uh, they're just a little like panda slippers. How cute are those? Gray is my favorite color. Yay, gray makes me so happy, neutral queen. I literally love these so, so, so much. And they've got like a little wedge, like a little cushion for these like aging feet, you know. Nearing on 30, we need to go for comfort is king. Let me put one on right now. Oh so cute the perfect size okay literally keeping these on and the amount of little bits that i get in here for five pounds that i end up wearing so much like it's so worth it so when i like something i like it a lot and i went a little bit overboard because with one or two of the things that i saw in here I just ordered it in like most of the colors because with some little bits, especially if it's in the new end, so basically new items get released. I'm just gonna say announced, but new items get released um, like every single morning, and a lot of the things literally go out of stock like on that morning because people know that the new releases come out, so a lot of the best stuff like comes out first. And I saw a jumper that looked like cute and fluffy and warm, and I know I'm gonna be spending like a decent amount of time at home with us not leaving the house and it's pretty cold and I saw these and they were so cute so I ordered three. Three jumpers and I'm so glad that I did. They are so cute. I've only unpackaged one of them so far. Oh, so, 
soft. So it literally is a furry, it's kind of like that eyelash style jumper. This one is in a size medium, they're all in a size medium. So funny, the little arms look so, so super skinny, but this is like a very like stretchy little material. I've tried this on already and it fits really, really nicely and it's so soft and warm. I think I'm gonna put one of these on when I'm done filming. So, so, so cute. So I got this like a little, well, it's not really a wine color, it's kind of like a grape, grape shade. Um, the brand is called Katie's, not something that I've heard of before and also not something that I've gotten um, from everything five pounds before in one of my orders. So I have that color. I also have it in this like beige neutral shade, which is really nice for layering because it can go with a lot of different colors. And I think I would probably pair it up with like maybe like some black leather trousers, some like boots, and you can chop over like a black, a big like black jacket or like a black leather jacket. And I feel like you can dress this up and down and still be cuper, cuper, cuper. That's super cute. Cupid. That's not a word. Love this one so much as well. And then I got it in green. My favorite shade of green is this like forest green, which is so nice for this time of year. Not like a massive, although I do love khaki, but forest green is my favorite. And this is just like such, such a nice shade. So they all are the same, just all in the same size um, and just different colors. And for me, it's the type of thing that I gravitate to a lot, just with like jeans and like boots or like trainers. So it's so worth it for me to have them in different shades. So cute and cozy. Wearing a little blankie. Then, once more, I ordered something twice. So I ordered this jumper with cute like little bows. Again, just stocking up on like cute jumpers for the winter. So I got a grey and a wine coloured one. I think the wine coloured one is my fave. So it is from a little brand called Art Love Paris. Again, something I haven't had from E5P. E5P before. Let's see if it's got a little... This is how the tag looks. So I got this one in a size SM and it's nice and oversized high neck jumper chilled kind of just looks like a normal crew neck but then on the sides it's got these like eyelet uh, details and it's got like a velvet little tire which is so cute this one is very very festive and it kind of goes a little bit lower at the back you'll be able to see better on the trial clip i really love this just to like chuck on and be cozy and run a couple of errands and then i also got the same one in gray this is how it looks so just the same as the other one with the little ties on the side. I mean, phew, who tied that bow? That's a very sad looking little bow. Just have to like retie those. Um, but it's quite cute. You can like obviously retie the bow yourself and make it like a little bit tighter or looser if you want. But I just thought that these were cute and simple and kind of like can't really go too wrong. And the quality of these, of all of the things that I've shown you guys is really really good then i ordered two little um handbags i don't actually order a lot of accessories um off there typically because i am a little bit more fussy with my accessories but i saw a bag that is very similar to a bag that i already have but that got used so much that i got rid of it recently and i thought because i know i use that style um i might as well replace it and um i saw this little bag um, on the website so it's just got like this little chain detail and then it's got this little like hook so these like two things are connected and it's literally just like a plain little um, like everyday black bag and I just thought I would get quite a bit of wear out of this the quality of this is actually really really nice nothing to complain about I just oh always getting these things off you have to like cut through like the whole middle they're always impossible but this is really cute and I think like, it looks more expensive than five pounds and I know I'd wear it quite a bit. And then I also got um, the same one in um, a pink shade. So again with the pink and like the gold details. The pink's not really like showing that well up on the camera but it's a very like muted pinky kind of shade. Just like a little blush, 
a little blush pink. Also very similar to a bag that I already have. But anyway, um, the brand is called Eleganci. I would say it like Eleganci. Cute, cute, cute. I mean, this one's going to be dirty after like two uses because this part here is like a suede material. But the black one will, it will get dirty, but it just won't show as much. Next, we have quite a random item, okay, because it is quite hideous. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, it's just like a very, very plain item and it isn't what I expected it to be like. When I ordered it, I thought it was going to be more of like a hoodie. And I think I also thought that it was like black. But I can't remember. Anyway, it's not what I expected it to be. But when I put it on, I was instantly so warm. And it's one of those like typical things. Like the kind of like practical thing your parent would get you to like keep warm on like a hike. Anyway, it is literally a fleece. So it is a navy blue fleece thing with a hood. And then it's got kind of silly arms like it's got like bowl bottom arms no not bowl bottoms what do they call these bowl sleeve arms and it's just got like little pockets and it's really really plain and it's super thin like it's not a massively i wouldn't say it's great quality but it's so warm and when you put it on you just feel cozy and i think for that reason i'm probably get, actually gonna wear it quite a lot it just kind of feels like pajamas um really really cute but i mean hello hello there i am nothing to really scream about just like a super warm plain kind of like a little fleece thing now this is definitely the worst item that i got often i have like a wild card so i'll get like one thing that i think is a bit of a risk that might pay off or might not and that's what we're dealing with here with this little thing i don't even know it kind of feels like i was like basically super drunk or something when i ordered this because i don't know what went through my mind but it's a crushed brown <laughs> look at this it literally this no it's so nasty don't even don't even at me a crushed brown velvet skirt it's so stretchy it's massive the band is so thick and obnoxious it's too like long for the way i'd want to style it if you it's a kind of like sits like high-waisted if you flip this over it's like aggressively thick and like doesn't really work and it's just all around a pretty nasty buy um where is it from the brand is called buy swan and i've not gotten anything from there before and i would hope not to get anything from there again this is kind of what it's like also the quality wasn't really nice on this one like it's got some little like of the threads of the skirt like visible at the front and yeah it's just not something that i would wear and it's pretty nasty so this one is gonna have to go straight to charity but maybe there's someone somewhere in the world out there that would wear this then i have a super cute little top i ordered this one because i just thought that it looked so fucking festive <laughs> um and it is so fucking festive i really really like it so it's from a brand called Cherry Coco. I got this in an M slash L. And I really, really like this. So basically, it's just a... I like to try to put it on. I was like, hi, let's get in there now. It is like a high neck, little like sparkly top. I mean, you guys have eyes and can see. But then it's got this like little crisscross like detail at the front. And then it just ties in a little bow at the back. Like a little snack. Like a little Christmas festive snack. I really like this. I think the quality is nice. It's just like a style of top that I know that I like a lot. I love this like high neck open back style. And I thought that this would be really cute for when I go back to Cape Town because unlike in the UK, it is summertime um, over Christmas. So I thought this was like cute and still festive, but something that I would be able to like not sweat my tits off in basically. Put that down um it's really nice though the quality is really really cute and they had like three different colors on the website of that bad boy look at me go not ordering all of the colors yay what are you oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah mess is just like starting to pile up slowly it's just gonna like engulf me and take me away so this is one that was a little bit sad because the quality is really nice of it but a oh, goodness does she not fit me so the brand is J Pom by C Mod. I mean, what a name. Some of these that I see, I'm like, hey, tick. Don't know what that 
even says J Pod, J Pom. So I got this in a small medium, and I think that I got it because it was the only, I think it might have been the only size available, and I would have gone for like a medium um, if I'd have known, especially in this kind of a style. So it is a black play suit. It's really cute, like the detailing of the beads for five pounds. Like it's completely embroidered on the front with beads. Like how good is that? How cute? And when I first saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, that's gonna be such a cute little like outfit that you can pair up with like some cute boots. The easy kind of thing that you chuck on like for maybe like an evening out or something and it was like super easy, but you put, you put, you look well put together. Clearly that's what I'm not. But unfortunately, these legs are so small. When I put it on, I was so surprised because I really thought it was going to fit well. But then I also realized that the way that it's made at the bottom, like, it kind of goes, like, in. Like, it goes, like, a little bit tighter. So I just don't think it was that flattering on me. So I think I'm going to give this one away um, to someone who's got cute little leggies that will shine bright like a diamond in this. But the quality of it is um, really, really nice. This was another thing that I do like, but that did come up quite small. So this is a little zebra. I love a little bit of animal print. Then it's a leopard print. This is clearly not leopard print. Love a zebra print. And this is really, really cute. It's from Primark. I can see they've cut the label out, um, but I can still see it's from Primark. So this one is in a size eight and it's pretty tight like i could have done with a 10. so it is a little high-waisted midi kind of a skirt with a slit she is really really cute i do really like this but it is pretty tight so hopefully you know like one more pilates session just like a little salad here and there and maybe i'll be like slipping into this number because i do think it would look really really cute paired up with like some trainers and like a little white blouse or something um for like a cash glass of wine you know not that you need to be wearing a specific outfit for a glass of wine there's always time for a glass of wine okay okay I never fail to be surprised by how many items I get so everything here came to a total of a hundred pounds but like there's so many items ridiculous like one pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys soon I think it probably would have retailed for like 30 quid so so super worth it so this little greeny dress that I got is from this brand Jubilee um, and I got it in a 8 to 10 small slash medium this is the dress and it's just got these little like what would you call it like little color strokes on them and then this is what i thought was really cute is it's got these little cuffed sleeves at the bottom which i think is quite sweet and it's literally just a plain shirt dress the kind of thing that is just nice for a casual day of like errands work um this is actually a really good little work dress because it's not too short it's very like sophisticated but still playful you know that's me um but i'm not gonna be going to any work in this dress so it's just like a cute little one um to wear about the house i really like it it's not 100 percent my usual style like i don't wear so many patterns and like a lot of mixed colors like this a lot but i do think that this is a little bit more subtle and cute Kind of like would it actually suits Holly's vibe quite well. She likes a lot of bright colours and there's quite a cute little patterns behind me. Kind of matches. Cute. Cute cute. Oh, was literally just thinking now about the Chinese takeout that I'm gonna be eating the rest of after this. We got Chinese takeout last night. My order was sweet and sour chicken, egg fried rice, and we got some prawn toast, and it was so nice. The place that we ordered from is called um, Lucky Star Chinese, I think. And it was really good. It was the first time we ordered from there. And I don't know if it was because we were a smudge hungover and like really starving and had waited hours. I think we even like pre, we went on, tried to look at what we were going to get. And like, this was like first thing in the morning. And we waited hours and hours for our takeout. We were like taking down the time until we got to like 7.30. And then we were like, let's fucking order. That's what I'm gonna eat after this and I was just thinking about how good it's gonna be. Then I've got three pairs of shoes in here So 
The first one is from Ideal Shoes. I've had an, I've had an, it's had a word, gotten, gotten quite a few pairs of shoes from there before. So this first one is just a little cute pair of Converse, like platform high top Converse in grey. I don't think I've ever owned a grey Converse slash fake Converse before. And I just thought that these were really cute. I do actually really, really like them. Um, if I knew they were coming from Ideal, that's the only thing you just don't know where they're going to be coming from. I would have sized up to a size 7. I don't actually even know if they had a 7, but these are in a 6 and they fit. But they're like, with these kinds of shoes, like I often like it just to be like that little extra bit of room, you know, for like socks and shit. But I do really like these with that being said, and I definitely would wear them. I've got the pink pinky purpley like flat ones of these as well which i just think is like this is a good way to like go for fun cutesy like converse style without actually paying the money for them because often i find if i'm spending a lot i'll go for like the typical like if i'm gonna get air force i'll get the plain white air force if i'm gonna get like vans i get like the standard vans i don't get like the ones the flames even though i think they're cool they're just not gonna go with as much so i would rather spend a little bit less on like fun style I saved my favorite shoes for the end. Two more pairs of shoes. And they are really intensive. But I just think for the price, I was like, when I saw them, I was like, damn, girl. So these, I don't know what the brand is. I think I remember looking at them and thinking there was no brand. So these are in a seven. Because when I don't know where the trainers are coming from. I think when I don't know where the shoes are coming from, I size up. Just typically speaking. To be on the safe side. So I got these snake print trainers very like neutral style trainers it kind of got like that balenciaga like esque vibe happening about them um and i thought that these were really cute these are just like a very cash fun everyday well not the everyday trainer but like i think despite the fact that they have like pattern and color like i think they would go with quite a lot of different outfits or like if you're wearing an all black outfit for example you could like still chuck on these trainers and have them be cute and the quality of these um is nice so i definitely think i'll get quite a bit of wear out of these probably get them really dirty going for like a walk and just getting mud everywhere if, like i did yesterday there'll probably be like mud all over here within like the first day but i thought these were really good well qual and then my last, out of the way, my last and favorite pair of shoes. They're so unnecessary as well. Like where the effing be? Am I gonna wear these right now? Let me just get them. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like a little freaking like a schmeagle. I'm like, hee hee, ha <laughs> my precious. Um, I'm trying to like scope and see if I can see the price before. <laughs> See if i can actually know how much they are no there's no price so as we can tell these are actually from forever 21 how good i think it's the first time i've had anything from forever 21 from everything five pounds if that makes sense and they are these black boots look at these there's i mean these are so extra like do i need to be wearing these right now no i don't but i really love them like a good black this is like a bougie drinks boot. How nice. Love them. Look at that. Very like kind of channeling my dominatrix vibes right now. Um, but I really do like them. They fit really well. They're comfortable for their height. And I really like them. And often my ish is with these. Like they just won't fit like nicely around my calves. Um, but I ordered these in a size 7. And they fit perfectly. And I really, really like these. And I can't tell you guys I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. Because where would I? You know, I'm not going to take these and pop down to the local 24-7 shop. In these, what is it called? 24-7 shop, convenience store. I'm going to pop down to the local convenience store on these. Like, hi, I just had to get some oat milk. Although, I mean, that seems like something bougie that I would do. But we stand these. These are so nice. Hello. Hello. Another E5P haul success. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my actual pile of like the packaging and stuff is like slowly but surely are coming down towards me. I'll just hold my shoe while I say goodbye so it doesn't fall. 
my precious. Thank you so much for watching this haul and goodbye. As always, I will link everything down below um, in the comments. In the comments. Am I going to do all of my linking in the comments? No, no, no. Sometimes I question how long I've actually been doing YouTube for because that's just a silly thing to say. In the drop down, which I've forgotten what it's called, in the drop down, I will leave in the description box. I will leave all of the links for all of the products that I got here. If I can't find the exact item, I'll try and link an alternative um, for you guys just so that it's there. I hope you enjoyed this third. And if you want to see something like this again, or if you have any recommendations or any requests, let me know in the comments. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.